everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. If xy plus xz plus yz equals 0 and xyz are not equal to 0, then what is the value of x plus y over c plus x plus z over y plus y plus z over x? Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now let's answer this question together. Now what we're going to do is to find the numerical value of x plus y over z plus x plus z over y plus y plus z over x. Given that xy plus xz plus yz is equal to 0. Now how are we going to find the value of this expression? First thing to notice is their numerator. So we have x plus y, x plus z, and y plus z. Now, what if we make the numerator of these three fractions equal? So, to do that, on the first term, let's add z over c. Now, on the second term, let's add y over y. And on the last term, let's add x over x. Now, take note that z over z is 1, y over y is just 1, and x over x is just 1. So, we're just adding 3. So since we're adding 3, we need to subtract 3 to make it balance. Alright, now let's focus on these two terms. If we combine them, we get x plus y plus z all over z. On these two terms, if we add these two terms, we get x plus y plus z all over y. Now on the next two terms, if we add them, we get x plus y plus z all over x. Now, notice that we have the same numerator now. So, what we're going to do is to factor out x plus y plus z like this. So, we have x plus y plus z multiplied by 1 over z plus 1 over y plus 1 over x. Now, at this point, let's focus on this factor. So, we have 1 over z plus 1 over y plus 1 over x. Now, take note that 1 over z can be written as xy all over xyz because if we cancel out xy, this is just 1 over z. Now, 1 over y can be written as xz all over xyz. So, what we're going to do here is to make the denominator of these three fractions the same. So, for the last one, 1 over x can be written as yz all over xyz. Now, at this point, this is now a common fraction. So we can combine them. If we do that, we get xy plus xz plus yz all over xyz. Now here comes xy plus xz plus yz equals to 0 comes into play. Because we know this is equal to 0, so we can substitute this value to this part. Now, take note that 0 divided by any number is just 0. And also take note, that x, y, and z are not equal to 0, alright? Now, 0 times x plus y plus z is also 0. Therefore, the value of this expression must be equal to negative 3. Thus, if we have x, y plus x, z plus y, z equal to 0, then the value of x plus y over z plus x plus z over y plus y plus z over x must be negative 3. And as always, we are done.